All right, let's do an example where we pass multiple arguments to a method. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new class and call this, I don't know, multiple args. Okay, check that box right there. We're going to go ahead and create a new method. Uh, just type in static. It's going to return an int, and we're going to call this one add. Okay? And inside the add um, round brackets, we're going to tell it that it's going to take two arguments. It's going to take an int, and that's going to be known as my int. And it's going to take a second argument, which is also an int, and it's going to be also known as my int. But this one is going to be my int too, because we have to give them different names. And we're going to go ahead and make a code block just like that. Okay? and it has to return an int value so let's make a new int inside the method it's gonna be called result just like that and we're gonna set result equal to the value of my int plus my int 2 there we go and then we're just gonna simply return that's not return return result there we go and that's gonna return the added value of the two arguments which are gonna be passed so how do we make this work let's go in our main method right here and we're just gonna start by doing a system dot dot out dot print line and inside we're gonna say when two and three are passed to the add method uh, the result is put space there and the result is and we're just gonna go ahead and call the method add and inside uh, these round brackets we're just gonna put two comma three that's how we separate arguments two comma three and let's see add 2 comma 3 2 is going to be my int 3 is going to turn into my int 2 we're making a new int result result is set to my int which is 2 plus my int 2 which is 3 and 2 plus 3 is 5 and then we return 5 so hopefully it's going to print out when 2 and 3 are passed to the add method the result is 5 okay let's run it proceed there we go two and three are passed to the add method the result is five so that was just a simple example of how we can pass more than one argument to a method